Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Davari and Mohammed Hassan. Welcome to SmackDown from the sold out Arrowhead Pond in Anaheim, California. And here is Mohammed Hassan, the latest draft pick to come from Raw to SmackDown. And speaking of draft picks, Taz, tonight, two superstars will come to SmackDown from Raw as the draft lottery concludes here tonight on SmackDown. Sounds good to me, Cole. Who's it gonna be? Who, which two? Who's coming from war? That's what I want to know. But I can't wait. Tonight we're gonna find out who the new SmackDown champion's gonna be. And what an impact Muhammad Hassan made last week here on SmackDown. Muhammad Hassan oh. defeating the Big Show last week. Absolutely. Now you see the draft lottery continues, and that's huge. I mean, do, doing that, getting that victory over, over the, the largest athlete in the world. Also, Mohamed Hassan, part of that five-man elimination matchup tonight to crown a new SmackDown champion. Respect being shown by the SmackDown fans for Muhammad Hassan here. Well, they don't like him on SmackDown. I don't need it. This weekend, all of you people and people all across America will be going to camps, taking time off of work, lighting sparklers, firecrackers for the 4th of July. America. Yeah, America's Independence Day. Well, growing up here in America, as an Arab American, I have a slightly different perspective on the day that you call our, my, Independence Day. You know, I think it's funny, and I think it's ironic that America spends a whole day, dedicates a whole day to the thought of equality for men. For... Independence, well, I don't feel like a free man. Do you feel like a free man right now? In front of all this tyranny, do you feel like a free man? No, do you feel like a free man when you walk through the airports and you feel people stare at you? No, do you feel like a free man right now with all these people's icy glares on the back of our heads like we did something wrong? No, no, I don't feel like a free man. No, I've never felt like a free man. I felt like a prisoner in my own country. And damn it, I'm not gonna take it anymore. And, uh, you people have no idea what it's like to be me, to step in my shoes. But it ends tonight. It ends tonight. Because tonight, when I win the five-way elimination match and become SmackDown champion, I, I will be on top of the world looking down on all of you, like you've looked down on me and my people for so many years. Because in case you didn't see it last week, I single-handedly took down the seven foot, 500 pound Big Show right in the middle of the ring. By myself, I am still undefeated, and I will stay undefeated. Just look at who I'm facing. JBL, Booker T, Chris Benoit, The Undertaker. Come on, people. The Undertaker lost two weeks ago to JBL. So as far as I'm concerned, he does not deserve to be in this match. People, the day of the dead man has come and gone. You're looking at the new icon, the great Mohammed Hassan. Oh, oh. oh, oh my! Oh. Be careful who you call out and who you 
mention. <laughs> I beg to differ with Mr. Hassan. I don't believe the day of the dead man is come and gone. I believe the day of the dead man is here and now. No doubt about it. Look at this sight. Oh, man, you got to feel this. He sends goosebumps up the spines, Cole. Just unbelievable the presence the dead man brings. I believe The Undertaker may indeed be the odds-on favorite in this five-man elimination matchup here tonight on SmackDown to crown a new SmackDown champion. Hassan can say what he wants. JBL can call himself Mr. SmackDown, but I believe you're looking at the real Mr. SmackDown, The Undertaker, on his way to the ring. Well, that remains to be seen, but what I'm looking at is the most just an evil-looking dead man out. Look at the eyes right now on Undertaker. And this guy here at the bottom, he's wearing a white suit. That might not be good for national TV, folks. And just to bring everybody up today, this was supposed to have been a six-man elimination matchup tonight. But of course, Big Show, victim of the draft lottery on Monday, now on Raw, has made this a five-man elimination matchup. Undertaker, JBL, Booker T, Chris Benoit, and of course, that man, Muhammad Hassan. Hassan might not make it to that match later on tonight for the SmackDown Championship. Who knows what's gonna go down here with the dead man and Muhammad Hassan. Watch this, watch this. It's absolutely bone chilling. I don't think uh, Muhammad Hassan has ever uh, <laughs> done something like this. Well, I believe this is the first time that Hassan has, has stood in the presence of the legend, The Undertaker. And for Hassan to come out here tonight and say that the day of the dead man is... Oh, what's the nuts? You guys gotta have a death wish. What? Hey, he's not, I'm shocked, but Hassan, he's not backing down. I you know, hate to do it. Gotta give him a little credit. Oh, speaking of not, not well, back to that, that's the party, man. <laughs> no, any one of them was thinking about running. I just freaked out, Paul. I don't blame him. Just a slow on, just wait one second. You know, I'm actually glad you came out here, and I really, I am. Maybe, maybe you're not like all of these Americans. Maybe you, you do have some guts. Maybe you will confront your problems face to face. I mean, when I said, when I said the day of the dead man had come and gone, what I was really saying was, you've had one of the most legendary careers in WWE history. I mean, you've, you've beaten everybody on the list. I mean, everybody, all the greats. Except for me, the great Mohammed Hassan. Five-man elimination matchup to crown a new SmackDown champion.